Hello guys and welcome back to episode 16 of my Minecraft survival world and today we're at the ocean. That's right, I made a nether portal to the ocean. Um, I do need to connect it up though as you'll see in a second. Uh, at the moment there's currently no rail uh, railway but I have dug a tunnel through just so you can see it and that goes all the way back and some bridges obviously that goes all the way back to um where i live i'm not wearing any gold by the way so this is why this is happening and this is in a crimson forest i think they're called crimson forest yeah this is in a crimson forest so it's a different biome to the soul sand biome um here you get piglins and stuff and those pig things uh whereas in soul sand you get skeletons and ghasts and there's a lot of really interesting blocks around here. Like you have this nether wart. You have this, I think it's called glowstone. It might be called something else, I'm not sure. Uh, nether quartz, obviously. Uh, this stuff, whatever this is. Weeping vines, can I climb up this? If there's a long enough vine, do you climb up? Ooh. Yeah, I can climb up that. And honestly, um, my main portal in my base, I kind of want to make it look quite netherish um so i kind of want to put like lots of these blocks yeah here we are back through the nether portal and into the ocean and i kind of wanted to find some things with you today um i've got a boat just here uh and i've got a bed because this might take a while but basically i want to find some of the structures in minecraft i want to find like a pirate ship i want to find some buried treasure uh, I want to like just earmark lots of things that we can find. I think I already see some sort of structure there on the land. What is that? Oh. What is this? It did. Boom. This is pretty cool. So it's got. I've got a chest. With an unbreaking fishing rod in it. <laughs> wow, treasure. Uh, and it's got one of these. Oh. Prismarine crystals. Should I have used silk touch on that? I don't have silk touch yet. Quite a few drowned here. Does it tell me what it is on the thing? Planes. No, it does not. Is that a chest? That is a chest. And it's got a buried treasure map. Perfect. Any more chests in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Cool, let's go. Let's follow this map and find some treasure. Oh, it's so close. I've never had a treasure map that's been like that close. That's nuts. Okay. I think. It looks like it's just on this bit here. And this might be a clue, right? This sticky up bit. Oh, by the way, I've got a diamond helmet that has respiration on it. So. I should be okay for a bit in terms of breathing. Have I been scammed? Is there no uh Is there no chest here? Ah, found it. Uh what we got? What we got? I got some of those. Got some TNT, so it's useful. Uh -huh. uh, this, this and this. What am I doing? This a quick way. Uh, cooked fish and heart of the sea. Nice. That's awesome. I got so much stuff. And I can make a thingamajiggy. Forgot what they're called. <laughs> what is that? Is that a uh, geode? 
Kind of looks like it could be a geode. Oh yeah, it's just, yeah, this is a geode. Let's uh, there it is. Let's just grab all these amethyst blocks because I'm never gonna come back here. Oh, 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 that looks cool. Imagine being like, imagine having a water underwater base and you could just like leave. You would need a. Uh, one of those things that the heart of sea turns into so you can actually see what you're doing and um, yeah i'm just gonna gut this place a bit hey guys so i just deposited all that stuff in my inventory from the geode all those crystals the calcite the basalt and i had an idea when i was doing it i picked up quite a lot of sand looking for that treasure chest and I happen to have a little bit of gunpowder at home. Um, only enough to make five TNT. Because it costs five gunpowder per one. I found one TNT in the chest, so I made five more. So I thought I was I was thinking about saving this for a different episode. Um but since we already found treasure, like, almost immediately without needing to find a treasure, like a pirate ship, like a sunken pirate ship, I figured, you know, let's go to the nether and see if we can't find something better than diamonds. So here we are in the nether. Uh... I don't know if there's a specific biome I need to be in or not, but I can probably do it just here. So what I need to do, although this isn't particularly a safe location to be doing anything, but it doesn't really look like there's lava beneath me. You know, there's obviously a lava pool there, lava, 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 lava. But I basically need to get down to Y22. I'm currently on Y73. I need to go down to Y22, so let's let's do that. So, as you guys may or may not know, uh, I've had a difficult time in the Nether because I used to have a pickaxe, a really good pickaxe called Rare AF. When I couldn't, when I was trying to find diamonds at Y equals five, because that's what the that's what everyone was saying where diamonds was, uh, but it's not. It's it's still eleven. Um, I, f I had a pickaxe called Rare AF because diamonds were so rare to come by. Like, I found three and, like, <laughs> nothing else for hours and hours. So, um, so I came to the nether and I was exploring. Um, you may have seen some of those cobblestones with torches on them around as I've been exploring the nether. Um, a stupid piglin head, um, knocked me into lava into a pool of lava because i wasn't wearing any gold and because i was in a pool of lava i lost literally everything that i was holding um which just so happened to be that really nice pickaxe and my first set of diamond armor and tools so if you're wondering um why my stuff had changed like I wasn't hiding it from you I just forgot to mention it I guess uh, but yeah the nether's not my friend oh I wasn't paying attention. Where am I? Oh dear. This is not good. Gotta make it. Through the river. Yes. And I can see snow. I must be close. I can see my fort. Ooh. It's 
gotta get up there. No skeletons, no skeletons. Please still be there. Please, all my stuff. Donk, 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 donk. Ah, hello, stuff. Quickly put it all on so I'm not going to die to the next cast hit. I'm not Y equals. 18 so I should be able to run into what I'm looking for from now until y8 so I'm gonna probably stop about y10 right here and now basically this entire level could give me uh, ancient debris, which turns into netherite. And that is the goal of today's episode. To find some netherite. So you, you can do this this way, the strip mining way. Uh, similar to how you look for any other block in mine. Why is this lava going so quickly? What the... Holy moly, I've never seen lava move that quick. Okay, so let me show you something you can do with TNT. Uh, so you can do basically this. One, leave a gap. I think it's two gap. Two, three, four, five. And if you like this N one, and go back away. It basically mines out an area for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, although I didn't do those bits over there. And there's bedrock. I've never seen bedrock in the nether. That's quite cool to see. Look guys. So, I found some. It's right here. This is the stuff. Ah, oh, I can't believe it. So I've been doing a new technique of mining for this stuff. So... If we block that off there, so being extremely careful because lava goes so quickly, what I've been doing is basically like this, just doing this, like like mad, um, sitting on Y10 and just going uh, with a good pickaxe. It's got I'm um, breaking through and mending, so I've been able to mend it using quartz uh, deposits, like this one here, gives you XP, goes straight back on the axe. Um, so, and then I found this, just randomly. I walked a few more blocks, did it again, and poof, there we are. You need a diamond pickaxe to mine this stuff, as far as I'm aware. And there we go, ancient debris, hidden in the depths. Uh, I've, I have no idea what you do with ancient debris, but that's how you get it. So. Um, I might be at this for a while, just trying to get some more. Um, but that's it for this episode. This was more of like a exploration episode. You know, we found some treasure chests. Um, we found some ruins. We found a geode. Um, I made uh, a track to the ocean, which is 2,100 blocks away from my base. Um, and I found ancient debris um, and I figured out a really good way to get it using my amazing diamond pickaxe. Hopefully this helps you and I'll catch you on the next one guys. Thanks, bye bye.